<laughs> you know what Hawaii means? Aloha. <laughs> Arroy Russell is a true legend and in the 70s along with Jerry Lopez they pretty much redefined what you could do surfing at Pipeline. the dog Russell what a nice guy happy you automatically think of the, the lightning bolt and a couple of pipe masters just a funny charismatic just a, one of the full on characters of surfing for sure today we're gonna talk to Rory about his famous or uh, infamous pipeline special surfboard that pretty much defined a whole era All right, here we are with Rory Russell and uh, uh, the happiest man alive, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here in Hawaii on the North Shore. What can you say? Where can you go wrong? But, uh, 50 years on the North Shore. This is uh, somebody who I hold dear in my thoughts and heart. And we're here to talk about this board you got right here. Well, basically, this, this pipeline is a special edition pipeliner. And basically, this is what has evolved from what we came up with. It first started working at the pipe. And it actually was the board that Jerry had at um, the Expression Session in 1969, I think. Wow. It had the right rocker in it, it had the right outline where it fit into the wave, it had the V bottom to, so you could make your nice smooth turn. But before they were too straight and too wide, they didn't have pintails and basically you're just purling on every wave. <laughs> and so basically this is just an evolution of that. Once you find that, that right board, that right kind of design. You don't want to change it if it works. It ain't broke. Yeah, don't fix don't it, fix. you know. This was one I gave to, um, to Garrett McNamara, and he just went out the back door and just blew everybody's mind. Uh -huh. I was to see him ride, I was like having a baby, watching somebody ride your board, <laughs> man, what's happening? And then I made one for uh, Jason Frederico, a four fin. Oh, yeah. One of the new ones, and he just said it was the best board he ever had. He, I've seen him charging on that. I board. saw him on his first wave he caught, and I almost had a heart attack. I just got oh no, don't kill yourself already. I was really fortunate because we were basically on the same thing, the same surf team, you know, the Lightning Bolt surf team. So Jerry would make a bunch Jerry would make a bunch of boards and then I'd get to, you know, take my pick of them, which was unbelievable, you know. What a what a wonderful yeah. thing. <laughs> and then it got to the point where I broke too many of them and he said <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of you breaking my boards. Here's a planer, make your own. Right, right. You know, but I had been shaping previous to that, so so it was more of a uh, a thing of necessity <laughs> because nobody would be breaking their boards anymore. It's way f different than the first board I surfed a pipeline when I was 12 years old. It was a nine foot orange Hobie <laughs> that I shared with my sister. <laughs> And I hung five at the pipeline. It was on shore about three feet, four feet. And I was with some friends of mine from Hollywood Surfing Association. We had a surf club in Hollywood back then. And uh, they took me out of the pipeline. I was 12 years old, scared to death. Yeah. But I, run out, I ran up and hung five on the wave at the pipeline. Everybody goes, you're supposed to get in the tube. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I hung five at the pipe anyhow. <laughs> That's an 8.6. Well, Keep that one out. Well, I had a big wave. Oh. <laughs> I got to thank Uncle Sam for sending my dad here. My father was a very highly decorated <laughs> military officer. I ran away from home when we moved to Hawaii because I didn't want to come to Hawaii. <laughs> I wanted to be a major league baseball player. No way. Yeah, until I became a surfing champion. But awesome. Yeah. Two times. Yeah, there row. were three seconds. There was an interference call. I got second to Larry Blair. Uh -huh. But if... Actually, Jerry took off behind me. And defending champion Rory Russell. This will be his seventh pipeline master. And uh, just got this perfect wave. And here comes Rory Russell, the defending champion. Off of the oh, I thought he got off it, but he's still there. He came out and went three years in a row. This was mine. And then I looked in the white water, and there was Jerry. Uh -huh. And I, I was so bummed out. I just sat in the channel and just waiting for an appellate. I go, man, I asked you if you had it. And he goes, I'm not like you, doggy. I don't have a big mouth that I can yell when I'm paddling. <laughs> I just went, that's the lamest excuse I've ever heard in the world. This is my home. I mean, I grew up, I went to high school. Yeah. 
I live across the street from the high school now. I spent all those years trying to stay away from that place, and now I live right across the street from it. Yeah, so. But the ironic thing is, I did my science project, my, se my, 12th, uh, my senior year in high school, on surfboard design. I had little foam surfboards and different pintails, and, and that was my science project. Yeah. And now, 40 years later, 42 years later, I'm across the street doing what I did in my science project, Isn't only on a full scale. Yeah. Aloha, brother. <laughs> I guess you could sum it up that I'm a, a lot like the ocean, and uh, that would be that I'm pretty free and easy, and that uh, I'll always be a surfer, yeah. and I'll always be looking for the perfect wave. It is the greatest gift in the world. People just explode when they surf. Everybody dreams of riding a wave, yeah. and 90% of them don't think they can but they can. Yeah.